Q Freeze and Auburn have a massive opportunity this weekend. In the world full of podcasts, he's the undisputed heavyweight champion of hot takes, an Auburn sports homer, master of the book, and message board legend. Get your buttons buttoned and your hats flattened because the Top Button Podcast is about to kick off and you don't want to miss your courtside seat. Now, here's your host, Charlie Five. Yes, sir. We're back. It's another episode of the Top Button Podcast. I'm your host, Kyle Rush, a.k.a. Charlie Five, and we are ready to get after it on this game day eve. Uh, Happy Friday, everybody. I know everybody's pumped for the weekend. So am I, and we're going to talk about it. Hugh Freeze and Auburn football have a massive opportunity to make a big statement this weekend. We're going to talk a little bit about that, dive all into the ins and outs of that. From a uh, from a narrative standpoint, from a confidence standpoint, and and especially from a recruiting standpoint. But before we get started, you know we got to give a shout out to mybookie.ag. Uh, sign up today, use coupon code Next Round and double your first deposit. Give them whatever amount you name it, up to a thousand dollars, and they will stack that same amount on top for free for you to play with. You can still get in today on mybookie.ag and get on that Auburn over seven and a half wins number. It's still plus odds, plus 109. So you can still win a little bit of extra money if you hit that number and Auburn does what we think they're going to do and go over seven and a half wins. Uh, They got the sports book for college football, baseball, uh, basketball when it rolls around, NFL that starts this weekend. They got a little bit of everything. Check them out, mybookie.ag. Uh, guys, this is a big weekend. I know it's it's week two. You can, you can say every weekend's a big weekend, but this one especially because – there is, there's still a little bit of scar tissue. There's still a little bit of PTSD that has sort of infested uh, and, and sort of sunk roots into Auburn fans. And, and sunk roots, I'll say, into uh, college media or the outside perception of Auburn. You know, when you talk about – when you have watched a lot of preseason shows uh, – all you hear a lot of times is well, when when you think when you hear people talk about Auburn possibly having a good season, you hear New Mexico State, you hear six and seven, you hear things, you hear bad offense because because they're just looking at it from uh, you know a thousand foot level. They're not really looking at the the changes that have that have happened and, and the. Uh, the the building of the wide receiver room and the adding of talent in, in certain areas of deficiency, uh, they they don't see that like we see that the people that are locked into it, the people that are watching it every day, and so it's really the perfect game. Uh, this is really the perfect game to be able to go kind of put yourself on notice, make a statement. There's been times where you know Auburn may overlook a game like this, and I but this one is. Very, very important to the team. I think that was the theme of the week. The theme of the week at practice was, hey, we got to make a statement. And, and it's been a very intense week of practice, from what I understand. A very Everybody seems to be very locked in and motivated to, hey, we've got to change the narrative of Auburn. Okay, We, we put up 70-plus points on Alabama State, and we still – you still have your fan base that's like, well, I still want to see it against – uh, I still want to see it against better, a uh, better competition, and I get that. I get that to an extent. I get that at not letting yourself, uh, putting yourself out there, so you get hurt. That that's kind of like the Auburn thing. If I, if I let myself go too much, if I let myself dive in too much, I'll get hurt. Well, I think, and and again, I, I get that to an extent, but this team this weekend. You have a shot. They have a shot to really, really get this fan base fired up, really get the nation to kind or the narrative to kind of be shifted to say, hey, Auburn is actually here to play. I think this is the perfect game. Auburn starts off at a 10, 10 and a half point favorite opening and it moves up to a 13 point favorite. I think all we talked about it on, I believe, Wednesday. We talked about position by position almost how the advantages sort of tick in Auburn's favor. Uh, and you really have a chance to put something incredible, blow this team out, and really, really put the world on notice that, hey, 
Uh, I'd like the meme says, hey, we're back up. We back up. Uh, last year, you go over there with high expectations and, and you do come out with a win, but be honest, you laid an egg. Uh, and it made everyone very nervous for the rest of the week, or not the rest of the week, the rest of the year. Your expectations for the year really fall. I mean, this is this is week two. That same type thing could happen. You know, that same type type thing could happen if, if Auburn were to go lay a little bit of an egg or, or or you know come back down to earth offensively. It'll set the tone. It'll it it just it's an inevitable. It will set the tone for the rest of the year. But it's in the perfect spot to be uh, a a home game. B the second game of the year again, where you, you've had sort of a primer, you've had a little bit of a warm up. It's the second game of the year. It's at home. You just come off of a very, very explosive, a very, very uh, efficient uh, offensive outing, a very good defensive outing. Uh, and, you know, last year you had the first game and it was it was sort of iffy one way or the other. Like some people, the, the ones that really wanted to see something good, picked out the good and, and the ones that really were just iffy, they had they had ammo that way too. I feel like it was all pro last week and now you're sliding into this week and you really have a chance to, man, you have a chance to explode. You really do. You have a chance. This is a good matchup for Auburn in my opinion because it's not a super – they don't really have that super big playability, that super explosion that's uh, going to be a lot of dink and dunk, a lot of uh, – you know, game management type offense. And then they're going to try to get after you on defense. But I think I just think Auburn has the horses now to win one-on-one -on -one battles. And so you have a chance to prove it. You got a chance to go out and prove it. And you got a chance to really, really set the world on fire, I think. Uh, if you have a blowout, a, another blowout victory, uh, I think you have a chance to really set, you know, set the stage for, for a big year uh, and sort of reel in – Reel in those those fans, or, or reel in that base that's a little bit of, of have a show me attitude. I think you have a chance to to show them. I think you have a chance to get a, a lot of people fired up. Another thing, another opportunity this weekend that makes it so massive is it's another opportunity to build confidence. A confident team is a dangerous team. A confident wide receiver is a dangerous wide receiver. A confident quarterback is a deadly quarterback, a guy that believes I can make those throws, a guy that believes I got a guy down there that I know can make this play when things break down is a dangerous – is, is dangerous. A, a pass rusher that knows I can beat anybody. Uh, if you line me up and, and we got to make a play, I have the confidence. I know – I can beat this guy. And again, it's another step up. It's a pretty big step up. I would say a fairly massive step up from the competition last week. But you have a chance. It's still not – you still feel like you're better. You still feel like you're better. So you should be able to actually win those battles. But, man, just think. Just think this young wide receiver group. They felt great last week. Okay, You do this on a P, on a P5 team. And you're going to see confidence go through the roof. You're going to see, uh, you're going to see confidence absolutely soar. You got guys like Cam Coleman, Perry Thompson, uh, Malcolm Simmons that that had bit, that made big plays last week. If you can stack that up again this week, you're talking about a uh, a level. You're not you're playing not as freshmen anymore. You know what I mean? You're you're not playing. You, you may still make some freshman mistakes, but you're not playing as freshmen from a I don't I'm not sure I'm physically there yet situation. Like you're playing as I'm a college football player and I'm dominant. Like that's the kind of confidence that you can build this week uh, in, in in this perfect in my opinion this perfect timing matchup that we have. Peyton Thorne. Look, there's been times where Peyton uh, last year Peyton could get rattled. I mean, let's just be let's just be honest for, for whatever for whatever reason, if it was the the lack of confidence in the offense, the the pass rush being able to get to him, whatever it is, there were times where you could you could visually see Peyton have lack, a lack of confidence. You could visually see him doubting on the field. So to be able to go out and have uh, a, another big outing 
and be able to get the ball out, be able to be have, be protected by the offensive line, and be able to punch push the ball down the field. I mean, that's going to do that does so much for a quarterback. There, you he knows he's got the job. He knows that I just threw for three hundred plus yards. I know I can do it, especially in this offense with these receivers. Uh, if I can do it against a power five, uh, if I can do it against a power five quarterback, it's like Vince Vaughn off of Wedding Crashers. Hey, I'll make it rain out here. You know, I can put the ball wherever I want to put it. It's that that level of confidence is 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 what you could come out of this game with another big outing. And in my opinion, that's what Auburn needs from Peyton Thorne. You need him to have that killer, that killer instinct that says, "Hey, I, I can put the ball wherever I want to put it. These guys can make plays." Good luck, y'all. Y'all try to stop us, and, and I think he's this close. I think he there. He's this close to being there, and this weekend, with a good game plan and good execution and a, some protection up front, I think this could go. This could make exponential uh, progress as far as the confidence goes, as far as the the uh, the perception of the offense. Everything this this weekend could be. Really, really big, and it's something I think Auburn needs uh, needs badly. Needs badly. Auburn needs to get that killer instinct back. Auburn needs to get that that feeling that we can go up against anybody, and you're not going to be able to stop us. I'm going to be able to. I'm going to be able to do whatever I want to do, and, and I'm. I feel very confident. There's nothing you can do to stop us. I need. I need Auburn to get that back. I, we need Auburn to get that that mindset back, and I think they're working on it. Uh, as we speak, and I expect something. Uh, I mean, maybe I'm booging, maybe I'm booging, and, and I'm pro- I probably am, but I just feel like this is going to be a uh, Auburn's prime for a blowout. Uh, because whereas I am saying, you know, I'm talking about, and there's other voices talking about the fact that Auburn should outmatch Cal and should cover the spread and, and should win by a large margin, Hugh Freeze and the team are not in that mindset they are in the mindset of we got to handle business that again i've talked to some folks that are, that have been around practice this week and it's been an intense practice you're talking hey they 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 just about embarrassed you last year you overlook them again you're gonna you're gonna have issues this is a big weekend this is the foundation week uh, uh, to kind of plant the flag as far as having you know trying to have a really big season uh and i and i think that's massive as far as <clears throat> not getting in the mindset of you're you're there already. We may think it, like we may, fans may think it, and, and, you know, we may talk about it on these podcasts and things like that, but I can assure you the team is not overlooking Cal this weekend, and I just, I can't express enough how perfect this is, this week is, as far as a potential for a big confidence boost. They may already have some confidence, but a confidence we can do it at an even higher level. If you want to talk about confidence, okay, and you want to get, you want to be confident in your retirement, confident in your savings, confident in everything that you've been working so hard, you've been working so hard to save and achieve and earn, uh, you need to give our boy Ford Stokes with retirement results presented by Active Wealth a shot to make sure that you have that confidence. How do you know that your your portfolio is, uh, you know, fee conscious it has it has limited fees how do you know you you've you've done everything you can to delete the irs out of your out of your retirement how do you know you've done everything to achieve your maximum social security benefit the only way i can tell you that i know that you can know for sure is to go to retirementresults.com forward slash plan and let ford stokes the man take a look at it uh himself and give you his his thoughts uh, why not? It's no cost to you, and you make sure that you're making the right decisions. Check him out. <clears throat> Ford Stokes at retirementresults.com forward slash plan. The last thing, and you know it's one of my favorite things uh, as far as as far as making a statement is from a recruiting standpoint, you feel really, really confident that Deuce Knight is going to pull the trigger at some point between tonight and tomorrow morning. Uh, and that coupled with a big win could send the recruiting. It, it seems like Auburn's at, at, right now. Auburn couldn't be at a more higher fever pitch as far as recruiting. But we've talked about Deuce Knight for for over a month now. For him to finally pull the trigger, 
like we think he will. And then for Auburn to have a blowout victory with a lot of the top guy, there, there's they're lining up another big recruiting weekend. Okay. There is another big recruiting weekend. You got two big wide receivers coming in. Uh Travis Smith Jr., who's committed to Tennessee, that's been to Auburn multiple times before, uh, reportedly is is close with Deuce Knight. You got Sam Turner, who just came off of a five catch and four touchdowns, <laughs> five catches with four touchdowns game. Uh, who's committed to Georgia Tech the week prior. He's coming in this weekend. You got a lot of 2026 guys, a lot of commits. Uh, you got Deuce right there in front of them. If Deuce were to pull the trigger and Auburn goes on to a massive victory, uh, with all of the, the media that's surrounding and talking about Auburn possibly chasing for the number one class, you could be at a fever pitch of recruiting that Auburn's never seen before. I would already say Auburn's there, but you're talking about the elite levels of excitement around the program with, you, with your quarterback, your five-star quarterback committing, uh, and then a blowout victory in front of a lot of top recruits with media already talking about um, already talking about Auburn chasing for the number one class, you got top prospects on the verge of committing as well. Uh, down the down the line, like seeing this, like you're talking about an opportunity in recruiting that that is, it, you can't put it, you couldn't even put a dollar value on it. Like you couldn't pay to arrange this scenario this weekend. You could not pay money. There's there's no dollar value that would be worth the opportunity that if everything falls into place this weekend, the exposure, the the uh, the hype that could be generated from what could come from this weekend. Uh, it, it's 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 really fun to watch. It's really fun to watch the way the pieces start to to fall in place, the piece the the future pieces sort of be laid out uh, and, and really see that pathway for Auburn to get to the number one class. Like I didn't, I, I've never felt like Auburn would ever be in this conversation. And uh, when Hugh Freeze was hired, I knew that Auburn could compete and be in the, you know, top five to top eight range. Like I knew that, that he could get there. Auburn's been there before, but top two, three, number one, like that is just, that is the elite of the elite uh, and the pathway is there. And, and you're talking about setting that. I mean, I, this, the foundation's already set, but like that last push to actually get there could kick off this weekend. Uh, there is a huge, huge opportunity. I mean, I, I, I know I see it. So I know Hugh Free sees it. I know that the, the staff sees the, the potential for an explosion this weekend. And I know that they're, you know, <laughs> you can't. Things may not work. I mean, things may not work out. You could have a bad game, whatever. But at least I think I don't think it will be because you didn't understand the moment. I don't think that it's going to be if, if something goes wrong, it'll be just because maybe you're not quite there yet on a talent level, coaching level, whatever. But it won't be because you overlooked the opportunity. I know that they're they're locked in and they see it. Uh, the recruiting aspect of what could happen this weekend uh, could explode. You could set off a chain reaction. I think you've already kind of got some stuff lined up uh, for maybe a commitment next weekend, for a commitment the following weekend, some stuff to fall there in the middle. Uh, I mean, and, and it could all kick off this weekend. I think, Duke, again, Deuce pulls the trigger. Auburn has a big win, and you're going to talk about the hype train, uh, a hype train around this class that is um, – unprecedented for Auburn. And it's a fun story too. It's a fun story for the national media. This, this is, they're coming out of nowhere, you know? And if you look on, if you look on a lot of the quote unquote NIL rankings, Auburn's not typically on those lists as far as like Auburn's got this great NIL. I think they do have a very good NIL program, but there, as far as like the mar the marketing aspect and like is Auburn, you know, got one of the top collectives and, you know, on three, like on three's top collectives and you got Ole Miss and you got some of these, these folks you're beating the crap out of for recruits. So, you know, something's going on, but Hey, it doesn't look like from a media aspect, it doesn't look like Auburn's just out there uh, exploding with NIL based off of, Hey, you, y'all make the rankings, y'all make the rankings of the collectives or whatever, you know, whatever it goes, whatever you say about, NIL. So Auburn's not on those lists. So what's how's Auburn doing this thing? I tell you how they're doing it. Hugh Freeze and, and Auburn in general is how they're doing it. 
They're they're working tires tirelessly, and then Auburn sells itself. So this weekend, you could have an explosion that you've never seen before. I, I feel like you could have a, a recruiting explosion um, to really finish off this class like we've never seen before. And and again, it's just that I can't overstate how important and how massive of an opportunity Auburn has this weekend to really, really explode and set the tone for the year. So uh, I'm excited. I, again, I still feel like Auburn is a easy two and a half to three touchdown favorite in my opinion. So I would take, I would take Auburn to, I would lay the points, take Auburn at minus 13 right now and, and not sweat it at all. Cause it, you know, the worst case in my opinion is 14 points, but uh, I think it's going to be you know, even bigger. I think it's going to have sort of that sense of urgency like they did against Texas – or not Texas A&M, Alabama A&M. Get on the board early, be explosive, and, and really uh, take control and put your uh, put your foot on their throat early. So let's see what happens this weekend, guys. Uh, I really appreciate you listening. If you've uh, – I don't know what you're doing in your life. If you haven't already checked out thebarnauburn.com, you need to check it out. Thebarnauburn.com, $1 for the first month. You'll get all the team info that you can handle, all the recruiting info that you can handle. We got basketball stuff. We got baseball stuff. We got Lindsey Crosby on there dropping baseball nuggets, talking about fall camp, uh, fall baseball camp. If you're a baseball guy, you can't beat the news that you get uh, from Lindsey Crosby and, and, and so many others in there sharing a lot of a lot of valuable information that are very plugged in uh, and you get to try it for only a dollar so check them out the barnauburn.com hey we got a hoops pod now uh me and zep jasper tuesdays and thursdays be sure to check it out the barn hoops pod if you're subscribed to the barn auburn on youtube you're going to get notified regardless you got village vice you got the Top Button Podcast, and now you got the Barn Hoops Pod and possibly some other stuff in the very, very near future. So so definitely subscribe to this channel, uh, and you're going to be updated constantly with lots of great Auburn content. Like this video. Get in the comments. I pretty much will respond to every single one. We'll have a good conversation. Follow me on Twitter, the underscore Charlie, underscore five, uh, and we're going to get back. We're going to be live after the game tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. And then we're obviously we're going to do our Sunday night live recap, talk about recruiting uh, and answer questions, have a lot of fun as well. So y'all have a great weekend. Be safe. Uh, get ready for a big, big game on Saturday and we will catch you uh, tomorrow. It's another episode of the Top Button Podcast. Stay button. Thanks for listening and drive home safely.